Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Many people have been asking about John Ramirez, so that's what we'll look at today. If you're not familiar with John Ramirez, he's become quite famous based on his story of coming out of darkness into light and has apparently been on a lot of shows talking about this. We did a short review on his trip to hell on the Sid Roth show and four guests' false trips to hell. The descriptions of hell were all quite different to say the least. And of course, they were all selling products. We should be cautious of anybody on the Sid Roth Show, and especially of people that become instantly famous in the Christian circle and start traveling to sell their story and products. If it is a true story, then no problem, but if it leads people to start movements that involve writing multiple books and holding boot camps for money, then there's a reason to be at least a bit concerned. There's a site called Watchkeepers that's done a lot of work to compare different clips and show that his stories and facts seem to change from one interview to the next. So as the saying goes, if you're going to be a liar, you need to have a good memory. On the contrary, if you tell the truth, you don't need to remember anything. So with that being said, let's look at some of these conflicting stories and you can form your own opinion. And the only reason that I was able to see Jesus Christ was because he took me to hell. And God took me to hell. And that's how I got saved. And I got saved when I was 35 years old. Kingdom of darkness, highly respected. How old were you at that point, John? 33. 33 years old. Think about that. 33 years old. Yeah. And, uh, and God took me to hell. And that's how I got saved. At the age of 33, the number of Christ, when Christ went home, I was sworn to uh, selling my soul to the devil. I have sold my soul to the devil. They marked my body. I shed the blood. And I signed a contract. How old were you at that point, John? 33. 33. Years old. Think about that. 33 years old. Yeah. And, uh, and God took me to hell. And that's how I got saved. And I got saved when I was 35 years old. 33 years old. Yeah. And, uh, and God took me to hell. And that's how I got saved. In the age of eight years old, I remember I was in a schoolyard. This, this from, the, from, the, from the second heaven, a, a, a necklace filled with different colors. And I heard a voice say, put it on. And, I, and at the age of 10, uh, a year later, I remember I was standing in a schoolyard playing with a friend. As I was playing with a friend, this necklace fell from the second, from the second heaven. I remember that a week later, a couple of weeks later, a week later, two weeks later, I went at a schoolyard, hanging out, playing with a friend of mine, and uh, I, heard, I heard something <laughs> fell and hit the ground, and it was a voodoo necklace. So he, in the midst of my pain and my hurt, one day I went to the schoolyard, the schoolyard, the playground, and I heard this preacher preach the gospel for the first time in my life. I was seven and a half years old. I heard the gospel for the first time in my life. And then at the age of nine, I remember this clearly, that uh, I was in a schoolyard, which was the back of a school. Uh, there was a big going on, uh, service was going on there, and I seen the, the past. At 10 years old, a los años, a los diez años, I was in a schoolyard. Yo estaba en la escuela. I hated Christians. Yo oía a los cristianos. I hated Christians because they had something. Yo odiaba a los cristianos. Because they thought. Porque yo pensaban. That they were better than me. Que eran mejor que yo. Ten, at, at nine years old, I was in a schoolyard. And they was giving, they was preaching the gospel. Y estaban predicando el evangelio. And I, I, and, and, and I hope this pastor. I didn't hear about Jesus Christ until I was 35 years old. I heard this preacher preach the gospel for the first time in my life. I was seven and a half years old. I heard the gospel for the first time in my life. There was 25 years of my life. Habían 25 años de mi vida. I couldn't say Jesus. Que yo no podía decir el nombre de Jesús. Never heard of it. Nunca lo había oído. When I was a devil worshiper, I rented the Ten Commandments more than anybody else. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I, 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 because I, the two things that, man, I don't know if they had over here with these, my neighbor used to have blockbusters. I don't know if they had that here. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So we used to have blockbusters, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I used to go Holy Week, I used to hide from the devil worshippers and go to Blockbusters, not to get caught. And I used to go to Blockbusters and rent two movies and then watch it the whole Holy Week. I used to rent The Greatest Story Ever Told wow. Come on. and The Ten Commandments. Oh my God. 
Yeah. And that was in insane. Wow. I was killing people from left to right with witchcraft. What? I was destroying people's lives through witchcraft like you won't believe. <laughs> but when it came to Holy Week, I went into Blockbuster and got my two movies. I mean, you tell me about that guy has a sense of humor. <laughs> I would put those things on, and I'd be like, you ever, I don't know if you watch you know, TV, I mean, I don't know, there's some people younger here. I used to like to watch Christina Hall. Yes. And he's like, woof, woof, yes. woof, woof, woof. So when Jesus walked on water, I'd be like, woof, woof, woof in my house. And Jesus had to take me to hell. To prove to me, I was even looking for love. I went to Catholic church. I was Catholic too. I started at the age of 12 years old. At the age of 12 years old, I was thrown into the dark side. And uh, they, they went on, and a couple of days later, they initiated me to the dark side at the age of 8 years old. I was the, I was the person at 10 years old. I was, I was recruited to the dark side. Did your family dedicate you to Satan? Yeah, I was dedicated at the age of 9. At the age of 10, I had my first ceremony into the dark side, into witchcraft, into Santeria. First ceremony in Santeria at the age of nine years old. From the age of eight, I was initiated with ceremony, rituals. So there's just a few clips I gathered from the Watchkeeper site, and you can get much more if you want to visit their site. I don't know about you, but I have a hard time believing these people when they can't keep their stories straight. So as always, leave your thoughts and comments below, and until next time, Take care and God bless.